Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to link OneNote pages on the iPad. So this video came about because of a question I got when I showed the double brackets linking in OneNote for Windows 10. The question reads, I enjoyed this video, but sadly, I don't think it works in the iPad version. I tried it, but can't get it to work. I wish that OneNote had the same capabilities across all devices. And Ron, I totally hear you. I think a lot of people have that same experience. And I think that OneNote is working toward getting things to be more consistent. And in case you're not sure, uh, we're talking about the double brackets that look like this. They are uh, just above the enter key on your keyboard. Now, when I started to do research for this video, I realized there had been quite a few updates to the way we can do links on OneNote for the iPad, including how we use double brackets. So instead of just responding to the question, I'll be showing you two different ways to link to pages in OneNote on the iPad. We'll be talking about how to use the double brackets, and then we'll also be talking about how to copy and paste the link to a page. So double brackets can be used in to link to a new page and, and create a link to it in one step. So with just one set of keyboard strokes, you create the new page and a link to it in one step. So to show you this, I am going to link to a new page called Apples, and it will create the page and a link to it in just one step. So I'm going to type bracket, bracket, oranges, now you can see that right down here we have a new page called oranges. Here is the link to the page called oranges. Now the link has a dotted line under it instead of a solid line like links normally do because there's no content on the page called oranges because we just created it. So I'm going to click that and you get this uh, dialog box, so click open, and it took me to the oranges page, and I'm going to put some content. And when I go back to the demo page where we created the link, the link to the oranges page now has a solid underline. One of the new things that I found is that you can also use these brackets to link to an existing page. So as you can see over here on the left, we have this page called Apples. This is what it looks like. And if I use those same double brackets and type the word Apples, close the brackets, and then I click this link. Again, you get your dialog box, you click open. We are on that Apples page. And this I think is fairly new. Um, I'm not sure when, but I think that this was not always the case, at least not for me. So the one thing I want to point out is that you do have to make sure you spell your page name correctly. Uh, there's no autocorrect or any kind of like uh, intelligent text finding. So I'm going to intentionally spell apples wrong. And you will see that it created a new page with the misspelled apples. The second way to link to a page in OneNote is to copy and paste the link to the page. So for this, we're going to use, I'm going to create the link right here, and we're going to use this page called Dogs, and this is what the page looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is click that left arrow so I get all my pages in notebooks, and I'm on the Dogs page. I'm going to long hold, and down here at the bottom of the screen, you can't see my hand, it's here. We have the option to copy a link to the page. and So I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to long hold and paste it. First let me make this bigger. And when I click this link, it takes me to the page called Dogs. 
And one of the things I like about this is that rather than pasting the long letter number sequence that makes up the link to the page, it just creates that nicely formatted link with the page name. So that's it for today. That is two ways to link your pages in OneNote for the iPad. And I think at least some of this is pretty new. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more OneNote tutorials on the iPad as well as other devices, GTD or Getting Things Done content and things about personal organization and goals, please do subscribe. I post content like that all the time. And hit the like button. That really helps me out. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.